Man, this month is going right. Uh, should I even see it? Uh, boom, man. Boom. Should I pry this off and just show you guys? Yeah, why not? Everything has always got to be about me. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I think I've sang that before. Uh, Do I sound a little bit sick? Some people are saying I'm sounding a little bit sick. No, I'm going on a trip really soon. At least I sound sexy. Does that sound better? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready for this set? Are you guys ready? I don't think your body is ready for this. Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. And I'm Scotty. So I lost a little bit of last weekend. I'm probably going to lose next weekend. So I won't have much time to shoot these videos for you guys. Apologies again. I'm going to be busy going on another trip. And we have another tour coming up. But let's try to pile it out for you as quick as I can. So this is LEGO's 80101 Chinese New Year's Eve dinner. The Spring Festival. Chinese Festival Special Edition. And it's exclusive to the China and Asia Pacific regions only. Not limited. Special. That means you can probably get your hands on it. It's just going to be pretty expensive. You want to know something cool though? At the time of this video, we actually got a very limited amount of stock. Kind of have to work out the shipping costs and the details. It might have to be marked up a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. Some of you guys asked me to hold them. They're there. They're here. They're here. They're in their boxes over there somewhere. You want to see them? Check it out right here. Yeah. I've never seen so many Lego boxes in my office before, except for the sets that I have built. Anyway, let's jump back into this. Woo! So just like the dragon dance, I want to say dragon boat. I want to keep saying boat. The set is kind of half and half with stickers and printed tiles, but the stickers, of course, are good quality. Boy, I wish this was like a full house that you can like close it off here and put the roof on. They just had to extend it a little bit more. Why? Okay, I guess it's supposed to be like a display idea, but it still would have been cool to be able to kind of close it off, put a little bit, a tiny rooftop on there. Okay, fine, whatever. It's still cool that they made something like this. Thank you, Lego. I can't wait to see more. Let's take a look at the details from the front on the outside and work our way in. So right here in the front, there's kind of like an extension plate here. This is like green grass. I actually quite like the front here. It's actually really decorative. I like how they use these, what are they called? Like, um, I guess they're gray bars, like gold bars from the bank, but they put them as stepping stones or cement blocks there for the steps. I like the plant and the little flowers they put there. It's so beautiful. And these things again, guys, not again. They cut them off the dragon and dangled them here. If you don't know what I mean, then it's okay, fine. Let's move on. There's a couple of lanterns that hang down here, and you know, these ones are typical, the ones on the front by the door, but the ones on the side are actually pretty cool. They're like one by twos, but they're extended out. These are the same kind of windows that they use in the dragon dance. They're putting it here as well. It's a really cool look. If you can't read Chinese, that's okay. I can't read Chinese either, even though I'm from here. Damn, what happened to me, man? So that Chinese word on the door means blessing and they flip it upside down because that's kind of like an invitation for you guys to come on in and eat some food. But before we do that, let's just kind of check out the back here. We'll check out the back wall, a little rotation there. There's nothing too much going on in the back here. It's just kind of plain, but you have those gold windows here again. It's actually pretty interesting how they put that in there. And they have another one here on this side. This one's a little bit more decorative here. Almost looks Ninjago-ish, yeah? And then of course, we come back here. Let's jump inside and take a look at the details of this baby. First of all, it's not tiled. I wish it was tiled. And that's my only downside for the set was no tiles in the interior. No walls, no doors. But hey, I'm used to this. It's kind of like the other brand that I review, you know? You can kind of reach your hands inside and you know, it's meant to be played with. And again, it's like a display case, right? You're not gonna really cover everything up. If you're gonna display it for Chinese New Year's, you can show everybody. Yeah, this is a typical Chinese New Year dinner. So the first thing when you walk in through the door is this, I'm really sorry, that is the nastiest looking carpet. Is that a carpet, a rug? Who has that color tone in their house? Probably someone like me. I wouldn't know what to design or pick my own home, but come on, man. That orange and that green is, ugh, I don't know. Take it out, replace it with something else. The six chairs inside, they're kind of typical. Surprisingly, they did tile a little bit here in the center underneath the table and the table is locked into place. But the top part spins. That is really cool. Everyone shares their food together and they rotate that sucker and everyone tries to fight for the food. Some people want to turn it left. Some people want to turn it right. Everyone's always fighting for food. I've only seen one other set that kind of does this in a smaller scale and I have to review that set for you. But it's a much, much smaller table. This is a nice grand big table. Look at the food on that table. Everything that you see on this table is printed. Yes. 
the detail of the food is amazing. The chopsticks and the spoons are all the same prints. You have all these bowls of rice. Look at the bowls of rice, man. Don't lose those pieces. I think I actually lost one. Thank you, Lego, for putting a couple more extra ones in there because you will lose that, trust me. If I lost that, you're gonna lose it too. And on the top of the table here, let's start on the top. Look at the fish. Yeah, the fish can spin, yeah spinning fish. Most of these are like typical food that we do eat for Chinese New Year's. I can't recognize what some of them are. You guys can help me in the comments and figure out what they are. But look, let's look on the top. You got this beautiful steamed fish. You got some crab. I actually had full crab on Chinese New Year's. I guess sometimes we do. You got some chicken there. They don't really look like that. You got some, that looks like wonton, yeah? Those have got to be mushrooms. The brown ones there, the mushrooms with some lettuce underneath. That's very typical. That's like, this is almost like a wedding dinner, man. You got some shrimp there on the side. You got some vegetables. I don't know what those things are, man. They look like spring rolls. I want to say spring rolls. Maybe they're wraps. Maybe there's something wrapped inside of it. Who knows? And then you have the dessert there. That's like a sesame ball. I would have preferred that to be a red bean, but that's just me. And you got this, this stew looking thing. That beef stew looking thing there almost looks like something called poon choy, which is like Every food known to mankind, thrown into one pot and you just eat it together. Yeah, that looks more like a beef stew though. So you got these two flower pots here in the end. I kind of just wish there was more there. Sorry, that's just me. And then we come to the back wall there, you got a nice little lamp shape and you got this grand chair. That's kind of like those massage chairs that every Chinese family has. We have one, we had one. Your grandparents can sit on the chair and get a nice massage, but they can't watch TV because the chair does not swivel, so you have to kind of pick up the whole piece and push it to the side. If you want them to watch that TV over there, and that is a sticker on the TV, by the way, and it is probably like a Chinese New Year celebration event show. They're usually very grand. It looks like you have like some fireworks going off. So above the chair, you have three signs there, and those are stickers, by the way. The one on the left translates as, everything goes well. Along the top, it says, things go as you wish and the right says, a good year. These are just like literal translations. And then we come here, there's the window I was talking about. That was really cool. You build the window sideways and you slot it in, put the rooftop on. It's gold and you got the red curtain. That's a little bit over the top, but hey, Chinese New Year's, man. That's the style of it there. But why is that carpet green? Man, the carpet in the front is still bothering me. It bugs me, man. Next to the window right there is the family portraits. That's probably a norm for every family to have some family pictures together. You got the parents there, the kids and the grandparents, those are stickers by the way. You got this white bookshelf there. For this kind of theme, maybe that could have been a little bit different. It's, you know, maybe it could have been like red or like a, like a, I don't know, like a prayer area with some incense coming out, something like that. The white there, I, 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 just, 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 just me. In the bookshelf, you got another sticker there, it's the pig, you're the pig, but I don't know what that is actually supposed to be. What is that? Why is that there? And the two studs, sticking out, bug me. And then, yeah, that's it, man. That is all they built, folks. Rooftop looks nice. I mean, at least they added like a little bit of shape of a rooftop there. And they added the gold studs along the top that can just kind of make it go boom, Chinese New Year. All right, let's take a look at the minifigures. So we got six minifigures here. Let's work our way from the oldest to the youngest. Yeah, cool, okay. We'll just call these guys Grandma and Grandpa because they're the elders and they're the ones in charge. They brought you up, man and your children, children, and your children, children, children. There's the grandma, her printing looks really good. Typical Chinese outfit on both sides. Yeah, very nice. And you got the grandpa here. Again, I like his printing. It's very Asian and Oriental style. It is very cool indeed. Now we come to the parents. You got mom and dad. Dad looking really cool with his glasses. I like the blue. The blue is nice with a shade of gold there. And mom looks stunning with her cheng sam, or that's like a Chinese dress. I hope I said that right. But yeah, printing is really nice on there. Look at that. Very cool indeed. Then we come down to the kids. Son, we'll call him Son. Son, your hair, man. I don't know if I like that style of your hair, but okay, if that's what you like. I like the printing on your outfit. It's very detailed for a little kid, yeah? On both sides. How cool is that? Then we got this little girl in her pink outfit. Daughter, daughter. Hey, your outfit's pretty as well. I like the printing on that. So the kids are holding what's known as red pockets and inside is money. Yeah, yeah, and speaking of red pockets, yo, got some new ones coming in for this year. So stand by and stay tuned. I'm gonna send some out to you guys, yeah? So inside you're supposed to have money if you're married and it's supposed to be given to kids or single people. Usually the kids get super rich during this time. And there you go. All right, you guys, it's dimension time. So here we go. Get your 32 by 32s. I know that this is us. 16 by width. 
and 16 by length for one of the plates. So it has two plates. Slide this together. Boom! 32. Wow, it's the same. So you know that 32 when you put the two plates together, of course, if you want to add this little green one in, that is an additional six studs. So take out your one by four bricks for your height and we're looking at about 10 bricks in height. Exactly that. There you go. Yeah. Now go measure your space if you have enough room for this. So there you guys go. This is Lego's Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, Chinese festival special edition. We have a limited run, so email us if you're interested in it. And there you go. Look at that with the minifigures in there. All right, you guys, it's time to go eat. Yeah, pick me up. The month is going by so fast. 2019 is flying past me already just like that. It's already the end of the month. Oh, where's the time gone? It is a nice dining, living room area. Maybe you guys can make your own mock and extend it out, buy another set and make the bedroom here and connect it together. And you can make a longer house like that with a second floor and make it even higher. Yeah, that'd be cool. That is, that is actually pretty cool. Let's put the minifigures inside, put grandpa on a chair, put little girl here standing on the chair going, I want some food, give me some food. I'm hungry. Put the little boy on this side, going yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what happened to my rice? It flipped. All the rice fell over. He almost lost the rice just from moving the set around. I'll show you guys. Mama! Okay, Mama's coming into the door. Kids, I'm home. I'm okay. Daddy is sitting here going, I'm ready to eat. And maybe Grandma's outside planting the flowers before coming in for dinner. It's pretty good, yeah, with the minifigures. You can actually put quite a lot in there. You know, you still got room for them to sit down, and that means you can have guests come inside and just. You know, you put a little girl over here and be like, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. With a boy going, I want my red pocket too. Trick or treat. Yeah, I know, that's the wrong holiday. How much longer is that fork, man? We're that far away? My man, we are so far away. We need about another week. What? Oh, man. Ah, this is gonna be so boring. Might as well sing some songs. You're a sunflower, you're a sunflower. Dear? You're not singing with me, man. Dear? Dear? Oh, oh dear. You okay back there? We lost dear. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, jeez, man. Think deer's okay? Didn't you hear deer fall off? Nah, I feel really bad. We gotta go back and find deer. Excuse me, gentlemen. Can I help you? You look lost. Yeah, I'm kind of in shock right now because we kind of left our friend. I don't know where he is. Why don't you guys come inside? And think about what you're gonna do next, because it's Chinese New Year's. Come inside, we got a lot of food. Yeah, what the heck, I could always use some food. Let's go inside. Yeah, dang it, I've been driving so much, man. Let's just eat first before we go find deer. He'll be fine, he's a deer. Lady, I really like your garden out here, it's really pretty. And one of those things standing there. Oh, those, those are balls we cut off from a dragon. It tastes absolutely fantastic, ball stew. Please come and try some. The ball stew. Oh, okay, if you say so. Wow, there's so much food here on the table. Look at this. Oh, dear, would have loved to have been here. You've got so many veggies here. Oh, this is just a typical dinner. This is the family. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, oh, this? Oh, this is nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm dressed for the occasion, yeah? Look, everybody, on the news on the TV, that is terrible. There's those people again. They're always trying to copy us. They're trying to take away from what we've built. Why are they always doing that? Copy, huh? What do you mean by that? You mean, oh, wait a minute. That's right. I'm not even part of this brand that I'm sitting in right now. It's okay. We're pretty casual about that stuff, but a lot of people don't like it. Excuse me, young man. Didn't you say you lost a deer? He's on the TV right now. He's with the other guys. What? What other guys? The copy people I told you about. They don't live too far away from here. They're gonna eat him. You see, this is why we don't like copycats. Because they, they take from us and they take food from us. They take our chickens and now they're gonna take your deer. I can't believe it, really? Monster truck guy, we gotta go right now, man. We gotta go save deer. Do you guys know where that place is? Oh, yes. It's not too far. You gotta go back where you came from. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. 
Let's skedaddle. I sure hope they find that deer. I don't like those guys. Family, eat all the food now. We're gonna go find them and help them out. They need our help. Let's go. Deer, hang in there. We're coming to save you. Meanwhile. Oh, I'm so scared. Where am I? Here, yeah, let's cook the deer. 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 No.